is video number eight of 25. And you're probably asking, what the heck is this on my shoulder? This is what I'm going to talk about today to help deal with stress, anxiety, or PTSD is human animal bond. So there's some uh, terminology that they have out there. There's the human animal interaction. Ouch. It's crawling inside me and I don't have a shirt on. But I guess this guinea pig's name is Nix, female guinea pig. Nix is uh, the name of a Greek goddess of the night, NYX. Um, I don't have a shirt on underneath, so her claws are hurting. But I'm going to talk about animal therapy to help with stress and relaxation. And I read multiple studies for this. John Hopkins, Harvard Medicine, Purdue, um, and read about the importance and the health benefit of animal interaction. And a lot of time we see that. We see uh, um, people using, using dogs as a pet, but you can really use uh, in, any, any type of animal. Um, so there's an organization called the Human Animal Bond Research Institute that is constantly conducting research um, to prove how effective animal um, bonding is to help with PTSD and things like that. Hey, let me get him out of here, scratch it. So um, the first thing, you know, one thing that's always hard with PTSD and, and stress and stuff like that is that, uh, especially in the military profession or, or you know, you always see it kind of like a sign of weakness if you want to do anything that shows that you're not manly, like showing that you have emotions, that you need support from like an animal. Um, but that that's always the first step is to get past those emotions. Um, I know that was like I talked in the first video about cognitive behavioral therapy and cognitive distortions. That's one distortion I always had issues with is like admitting that you need help or in, admitting that you need help or need assistance shows that, hey, I'm not tough, I'm, I'm weak. And you don't want to admit that. And, and you need to admit that. Um, and so one thing with PTSD as well is not to judge others and their situation, what caused them to have PTSD. Um, because two people can suffer the same situation. And a lot of times we're talking about military people um, because of war and stuff. But any situation can cause PTSD for anybody regardless. And we shouldn't judge somebody just because someone has PTSD from an event that wouldn't impact us at all. Um, we can look at, uh, look at this picture I'm showing right here. Yep. That was from an accident. And, um, my wife was on the, on a four wheeler with me. I was trying to show off and we got in a wreck. Um, when that incident, it didn't impact me of not wanting to get on four wheelers. I'll ride one still today. I would have rode one the next day, but see this picture right here. My wife's terrified of four wheelers because of that experience where we got in the crash. Um, so everyone's level of PTSD will be different from a similar situation. So we don't need to judge them. Um, so going back to animal, animal therapy, animal therapy, there's mul multiple studies that show, um, how just the bonding, just like having an animal on you, he's like trying to bite my thumb or, or skin off. Um, and regard, regardless of what type of animal it is, a cat, a dog, anything. Um, and it, it it's, it's kind of weird. So. I tested it and I didn't really realize it until, you know, I'd be sitting here watching TV and I'm holding the guinea pig and it would just sit on my shoulder. And it's it, a lot of times when it, if I have a hoodie on, it wants to crawl inside my shirt. But most of the times when I just have a regular shirt on, I'll sit like this and it'll just sit there. I'll be sitting here working and it'll be sitting there. And I noticed that I will feel more relaxed. And something I also noticed is because I, I will sit down on my laptop if I start typing something or doing some work and I've noticed an increase in cognitive ability and the reason is because the bonding what it does is the, the psychological impact it releases the uh, the serotonin uh, the dopamines uh, the oxytocin that natural relaxing chemical that not only helps relieve stress but those chemicals also improve cognition um, so it's also a good technique to have the animal that you bond with near you when you're doing schoolwork or anything like that, because it's also, it's, it's the, uh, cognition 
enhancing. It's, it's you know, just like, like Ritalin, it helps with cognition and focus and stuff like that. These animals help release serotonin naturally to give you that cognition, enhancing that focus. So not only does it help with depression and, and things like that, um, it helps with, with the stronger cognition. So um, that's what uh, the tip of the day, some of you may already be using it. If not, try it. Um, it you may be bonded with a different type of animal, but just uh, put it to the test. I never really got into it and cared much about it until Nick's here is like my buddy wants to always just sit on sit on my shoulder all the time and we'll just lay there. Um, and she actually won't pee on me. We have another guinea pig named Penny. She'll pee on me pretty quick. She, I've, I've, fell, I've fallen asleep on the couch before. She'll sit there and she knows that I'm going to pee on this guy. We both have like a, a little bond. So that's the tip of the day. Um, relieving PTSD through, through animal bonding. Um, go online and research. You could see the different benefits of uh, um, bonding with animals. And uh, it, it's, it's a great benefit to help with, with uh, mental health.